So I'll be doing quite a fair few classics in this video series, and the first one I'm going to talk about is the problem of inequalities involving quadratics. And traditionally, this has been a huge problem for advanced students because a lot of them will mistakenly treat these inequalities the same way that they treat a linear one, and you definitely don't want to be one of those students. So in this example, I'm just considering a simple one. I'm doing x squared plus x minus 12 less than 0. Common sense does say for you to factorise this expression, and turns out that that is at the very least correct. But then, oh, some people will then be like, therefore x plus 4 is less than 0, and x minus 3 is less than 0. Nah, look, don't go there. Instead, what you do is that you now put a y in front of this thing, or at least you do that in your head, and you sketch the curve y equals x plus 4, x minus 3, which will look something like this. Obviously not drawn to scale, but that won't matter for these problems. And then I just look at the inequality. I want it to be less than zero. So I really want to consider when the graph dips below the line y is less than zero, i.e. the x-axis. And because it's a strict inequality, I'm not going to include the boundaries minus 4 and 3. But that will basically be this whole portion here. And the corresponding x values, as you can hopefully see, will be the x values between minus 4 and 3. And that is basically going to be my solution. Of course, if you prefer, you can say something like this instead. But basically, either of these ways will basically be a representation of the final answer. Thanks for watching.